Hi, my name is Angela Huffman. I'm an APQS dealer and an educator with the APQS Long Arms for Lifelong Learning Center. In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to travel when using background filler designs. The magic word is echo. The first part of this free motion design is a curl, and then once you curl in, you go around the curl with um, some spikes, and then you'll echo those spikes. So first a curl and a spike, and I generally, oh, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. You can do as many of those little spikes as you want. A lot of times you'll see them in odd clusters, odd numbered clusters. So a curl, spike, two, three, echo. And now you notice how I've got myself kind of in a corner. I need to be able to get out. So I'm keeping density level in my head. But if I just echo back, that's kind of the magic trick. Whenever you've got yourself locked in somewhere, whether it's on the edge of a block or if it's inside of a design like this, your magic pill to get out is an echo design. So I'm just going to echo out, curl, spike two, spike three, spike four, echo out of there, spike, spike. Okay, so now if you look behind the hopping foot, I kind of have this empty space. I'm going to fill that up with just one single um, echo, and now I've got myself back out here where I can do a curl, spike, 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 and now I'm going to echo, 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 echo. And now there's no rule that says you can only echo one time. If I want to come over here next, I can echo one more time and to travel over there. So when you use an echo, it's your ability to travel to a different space. It's also your ability to kind of fill in. So there I'm filling, travel, uh, echo, and now I'm going to do another curl with a spike. So getting familiar with how to use an echo and how to use essentially your hopping foot as a measuring device so that you can get in and out of spaces as needed is a very useful skill. Uh, with your long arm machine. So I'm just going to fill this space. Um, this is uh, really nice even as a large design. You know, just know that whenever you see a microfill like this, I wouldn't even call this a microfill, but a fill uh, behind this, if you just make it bigger, then you've made yourself um, an all over edge to edge. Okay, so here, look, now I have this empty space here. If I left that, it would be, the density level would be changed. This would be very dense, this would not be dense, then we're back to density. So I need to fill this space in, and I'm just gonna do that. There's not enough room to do an, a, a curl with the spikes. So instead, I'm just gonna do an echo. So I am, let's see, I'm just gonna go here, echo, echo, and then get back out, echo, echo, and head in here curl, and let's just put our spikes, and I'm just filling this space. So it, it's helpful to draw out these things on paper so that when you get to the machine, it feels a little more natural to you, but don't neglect the healthy use of the echo to get yourself in and out of locations and to travel to new places to fill in designs. Thanks for watching. For more information about APQS machines, please visit APQS.com. Be sure to like us on our Facebook page and join the conversation. Subscribe to this YouTube channel so you're notified every time a new video is posted.